everybody welcome back to my channel for those of you that do not know my name is Brittany I also go by sincerely Brittany if you're new to my channel it's okay because this is only my second video however today well for this video in the next two I'm going to make a bartender bottle girl bottle girl series where I talk about pros and cons of working at the club how I got my job as a bottle girl and my experiences just being in the club, working at different clubs. Um, I started in New Orleans, now I'm in back in Philly and how is the difference between the South and the North. So if you're interested, just stay tuned. This first one is going to be about how you get a job working in the club. And disclaimer, this is latte y'all want to meet my dog come here oh look at him his name is latte okay latte. Ah. all right and just disclaimer um this is my story what i experienced some tips that i thought of just being new in the club and now um, having had experience for the last two years. I'm not saying this is what you have to do all the time. This is just what I found um, successful and worked for me for getting jobs. So let's get into it. So if you want to be a bottle girl, my first tip is it's fine to start off as a bottle girl. I started off as a bottle girl. My first job was working in New Orleans and I was very inexperienced. Um, I had just turned 21 a week ago and the next weekend was All-Star Weekend and I just happened to get a job in one of the probably most well-known, if not the well-known strip club in New Orleans as a bottle girl. Um, so my first tip for if you are trying to become a bottle girl in the club it can be difficult sometimes it's not as difficult depending on you who you are and depending on the club when i first started out before i applied to be a bottle girl i was doing um photo shoots like modeling some people call them like instagram modeling that's what i was doing so i had a good amount of photo shoots under my belt i had like um lower end photographers that i had worked with and then i had photo shoots from photographers that have a hundred thousand followers three hundred thousand followers that are really well known so i had done a photo shoot um i had also done two photo shoots with one of the most popular photographers in new orleans um that a lot of the people in that club in the club owners follow and known so um that's how i kind of got started how i kind of got my page and my followers up with my interaction and then i proceeded to start auditioning to be a bottle girl because i didn't i didn't know how to bartend so when i audition um most of the time what i do and sometimes i go about a few different ways because what i learned is some clubs are very organized and they know how they're running stuff and some clubs they don't really give you a lot of guidance and you gotta go out there and get it like it's a hustle from the start um so one of the tips Sometimes I would say if you have Instagram, especially Instagram out of all of them, if they have a page, follow that page. If you've never been to the club before, follow that page so you can kind of get a vibe of what the club is like. See if you can see yourself working there and see what type of girls, what the girls look like that they post on their page. Second, if you see that they have like an audition thing like, oh, we're hiring bottle girls, bartenders, waitresses come at this time that's the easiest way go to audition if you do go to audition make sure you are ready i personally don't like auditions because it's so many girls that show up even if you think you're the prettiest you might have the most experience or you're new at all because there's so many they're just going to like run through y'all they might give each girl like five minutes but that's it I don't like auditions. I'd rather meet with them one-on-one, -on -one, have my own time, see if they like me, they can get to talk to me a little bit more. 
And then when you go for an audition or you get a one-on-one -on -one interview, make sure you're ready. You don't have to have the most beat face, but make sure your makeup is done and done well. Your hair is done and done well and make sure you're dressed well because what looks our first impression and most of the time looks are 90% of what they want. I've had auditions and gotten jobs where they didn't even care if I had been a bottle girl before. They saw that I had a good amount of Instagram followers. They saw that I was pretty. They saw that I looked good. And sometimes that's all you need to get the job. And then make sure you bring a picture with you. Um, sometimes they will tell you to bring a picture. Excuse me. But make sure you bring a picture with you. Um, I had a friend that auditioned for something and she didn't get it sometimes if they tell you to send a picture before or bring a picture if they tell you to send one before and you don't get a reply um they're probably were like oh this is not the type of girl that i want because sometimes the picture you bring even if it's a cute little picture if it's not one of them like real like sexy ish pictures where you're showing like a good amount of skin it's not that clear it's not that cute they won't hire you simply because it'll say one, I don't really see her working in the club, even though she's pretty, a cute girl. This is a cute little, oh, little selfie. That's not what we're looking for, especially in the club where most of the girls aren't wearing clothes. And even if you're a bottle girl, you're not really wearing things anyway. So make sure you got a good picture. I suggest a professional one, but if you're not really into the modeling thing, make sure you get the best picture that you think the club will like. Second, have your confidence before you go in there. Because one thing I learned is that a strip club, especially working in the strip club environment, that's only that's really the only like experience most that I've have had. I worked in other clubs before. I tend to go for the high-end strip clubs. Have confidence. Because if you don't and you go in there and you get a job. A strip club will make you insecure real, real quick. You'll go in there, you'll see girls that got big tits that sit up, it's a flat stomach, got a big booty, whether it's natural or not. That sometimes will make girls lead into if they don't have the money to get a BBL, they might go get the shots. You just don't want to get anything done to your body just to do it so you'll look like the other girls because some people lose their lives. So definitely have the confidence. Also, before you go, watch YouTube videos. And this is why I'm making this one. Um, because a lot of girls, especially if you weren't a club person to begin with, like me, and I'm still not a club person, know their experiences and their opinions and what to look out for. Because I don't regret that my first job was working All-Star Weekend, but I had to learn a few lessons the hard way which I'll touch on that in my pros and cons video. Um, but watch YouTube videos. Get enough knowledge that you learn enough knowledge that you can, um, especially if you've never really been in the club before. And Les, I would say a bottle girl is something is kind of different from a bartender because a bottle girl serve bottles and stuff. I personally think that if you can double as a bottle girl and a bartender, you are much more marketable. I learned that working All-Star Weekend um, because I didn't know how to really bartend that well. And to me, bartending, you know, you make drinks, you get a tip, like you're selling like an individual drink. Bottle girls, you have some people that come in the club, You they have a section where their section comes with three, four, five bottles. And like, they don't understand, especially like some people, they don't know how to tip. So I had, I've gotten to places where I'm like, yeah, your section didn't tip me. Where's my tip? Where if you're a bartender, you're making a drink. They're like, oh, here's a tip. Thanks for making my drink. Cause they know they just paid for a drink rather than paying for a $2,000 section. So my form of advice, if you could double as both, or you can learn both, you don't even have to go to bartender school. I really learned how to make, make drinks looking at a youtube video of like 
easy learning how to bartend really quickly because if you can double as both i personally think you're going to maximize your money because one night the club might have you on bar on the bar the next night the club might have you on as the waitress where if you're just going to be a bottle girl and there's a good amount of bottle girls in the club on a slower night you might not be working and you might be out of money because they might have too many bar bottle girls where they don't need you to work and the bartenders is always going to have a job because a lot of girls want to be in the club waving bottles. You need to learn how to bartend too so you can do both. So that's my little introduction. I'll recap um, what I said. So basically, hustle from the beginning is one. Two, look the part. Hair done, makeup done. It can be makeup like this. Look nice, smell good. Bring a picture. Um, your picture can say everything, first impressions, everything. Sometimes don't ask for experience. They just want to know what you look like. And four, learn as much as you can. Just don't be in there like, oh, I'm just going to wave bottles and do this and, and that. Because if it's not a popping club, you're probably not going to make that much. Learn how to bartend and learn how to pour drinks. Because guess what? People in the club, especially more urban clubs, they don't they know what a Long Island is, but they don't know what like a sex on the beach is. They might not know what a Jolly Rancher is, what a Sea Breeze or the Bay Breeze is. They gonna ask for Hennessy and Coke. So that's my little how to get a, a basic like beginning steps of how to get a job as a bottle girl in the club. And stay tuned for part two. In three.